Hey guys, <laughs> are you awake? It's after midnight. It's so late. Yeah. I'm feeling very punchy. Even yeah, I'm totally and sober. It's we're just testing uh, fidget spinners for lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, and other bad things uh, because you asked us to do this. So when you yeah. guys ask us to do stuff, we just do it because we love you. Um, and we want to protect kids, right? Like fidget spinners are a huge thing, and there. So we did an initial test, right? Like uh, three weeks ago. And we tested three fidget spinners, and then all these news articles started saying things like, throw out every fidget spinner you own! They will kill your children! Yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, you know, we only tested three. <laughs> so we should test some more. So we did, and uh, we've tested 60 so far. 60? Whoa. I think so. Oh, yep. wait, 40? 63. 63. And 63. we have uh, four more on our lab table in our secret laboratory. Yes, and I'm Tamara Rubin from TamaraRubin.com, and I'm the director and producer of the documentary feature film Misled America's Secret Epidemic, and that's an upcoming film. It's not quite done. It's in post-production. It's in the middle of, a, of an interesting engagement of issues right now. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, my name's Carissa, and I am from Creative Green Living, and we are testing fidget spinners with an XRF. It's a scientific instrument, and I'm trained and certified in using it, yes. and I'm going to get right to it. It is okay. so late. First I have to drive home. I, I have to drive oh home. Goodness. So um, what we found is pretty much all of the light up spinners do have lead and um, and sketchy batteries. Yeah. Right. Which whether or not they have lead is concerning because if you swallow a button battery, it will literally kill you, or it yeah. could. I suppose it could kill you. If you intervened in time, you might only be severely physically maimed and survive. Yeah, the, the, the articles that I posted under, under some of my posts about this, um, several were from England about, um, one was about a little girl who lost her ability to speak because the, the battery got lodged in her throat and burned through her vocal cords. And, you know, I, that, that's a, like a best case scenario. I mean, if it doesn't kill you, it, 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 you will be lucky if it just terribly maims you for the rest of your life. Yeah. So this is interesting, um, we tested one of these before, exactly the same as this, and, um, and it was easy to find the lead. I know there's lead in it, but sometimes because of the density of the little casing on it, um, it doesn't show up in the test right away. So interesting. Um, if we, we dissect it. want to show you, I, I, I asked the owner of this if my son could play with this for a little while. And within I moments, use that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, I, I could use that. I don't know if that'll help. But, um, Just don't stab your finger when you're doing it. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> at, at 12, it's 20 at night. night. Camera's been um, impaled. Um, so this uh, comes apart, and my 14-year-old has this apart in seconds. And you might say, well, a 14-year-old isn't going to put stuff in their mouth. But my 14-year-old is constantly putting stuff in his mouth. There you go. So um, this is this mechanism. And we actually tested this exact mechanism before. And I'm pretty sure there's some points of lead on the edges there. Um, I'm going to try and get right in the scope and see what it says. And this is the box. I'll show you this while Tamara is testing that. So LED spinner, Supreme Toy Party. This, I believe, came from Amazon. Contains three lithium batteries, hazardous if swallowed. Yes, dear God, do not swallow these. Internal chemical burns in as little as two hours and lead to death. Oh, it says that on there. Yeah, this is the best warning about button batteries that I've seen on all of all the fidget spinners that we have tested so far. If you think batteries might have been swallowed or placed inside any part of your body, seek immediate medical attention. Placed inside any part. Oh, yeah, because I guess some kids put them in their nose. Or up nose. your nose, right? Yeah. My kid, this is so gross. Never mind. Maybe I won't tell you on camera. What did he put in his nose? He was at his babysitter's house, and she sent me a message, and she's like, so I wanted to let you know that Asher snorted out a peanut today, uh -huh. and it didn't really look uh, fresh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, dear. How not fresh did it look? And she said it like looked kind of green, like it might have been in his nose for a while, and it wasn't green from snot. It was green like maybe it was moldy. Oh, my God. How awful. I know, and I had no idea. Yeah, um, he didn't complain or anything. No, but he, yeah, I had, I had no idea. All right, so this is interesting. This particular one is not testing positive for lead. This said, uh, oh, meets USA restrictions on lead and phthalate content. Yeah. So that's fascinating. That's really fascinating. Um, I thought it said it made, met U.S. restrictions because it was... Um, under 90. Uh, uh, under 90 or because it was contained. But I think this one actually may have a lead-free... 
uh, comp compartment. I, I would want to do some more extensive testing, not at midnight. That's amazing. Um, so that's really interesting. This is the first lead-free one that we found. That has... There were that it's not testing so far, right? Like, that has yeah. lights. Sorry, yes, to clarify. The first light-up LED spinner that um, doesn't immediately test for more than 1,000 parts per million lead. Um, we did have one earlier that the compartments had, like, a big bubble that made it harder to test. Um, and they were in there better. Now, these, this toy, while lead-free, this is a serious choking hazard. I don't think you should buy this. Yay for being lead-free! Don't buy this, please. Well, and we were saying it, 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 it's a good, it's got like a B for effort. They tried, it's oh, man. free. Oh, man, yeah. The compartments seem to, you know, kind of be sealed. Um, but the problem, I mean, even if, the, this looks like a piece of candy, right? So even if a kid swallowed this, that's a problem. And then if they somehow got it open and swallowed the circuit board and the battery pack, like it really, like we are not joking when we say they really could kill your child. Or best case scenario, only leave you severely physically maimed for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, and this, that's you know, it's surprising. We like being surprised. It's surprising that it's lead free, which is nice. Um, Even though it's still dangerous, don't buy this yeah. toy. So we haven't tested a lot that were positive for other values. Like we haven't tonight. We haven't found any mercury or cadmium or anything. But this one is glow in the dark, and it's kind of got an interesting density to the plastic, and it's testing positive for arsenic. <laughs> How much arsenic? Um, I did two tests. One was 53 plus or minus 15, and the other one I did, did a shorter. Uh, what well, was 36 plus or minus 22? I think it kind of depends on where on it you test it. So arsenic's also a fail. We have to fail. have like an womp, arsenic womp, category. Womp. <laughs> it's a very low. Level yeah, you don't level. want arsenic in your kids' toys because yeah. I mean. They shouldn't put things in their mouth, but kids totally do, even if they're just like sucking on it, you know, and like. They shouldn't, but they do. Now I want to do a survey of glow-in-the-dark ones looking specifically for arsenic and see if we can find any others. Yeah, we've, a few that we've tested happen to have been glow-in-the-dark. Yeah, and we, I didn't notice arsenic in those. No. So We've done at least three others that were glow But this in the dark. definitely has a different quality than those other glow-in-the-dark ones. Yeah, and the, the color is different. Is that yeah. what you're talking about, the quality? Yeah. Like yeah. it's not like neon green. And so this one, is it marked? Summer. It came pack. in this box. Exceed X2. And it's a two pack. Uh, the, the so it came with the white two one. separate boxes with that white one. Now, this is what I want to know. What does double satisfaction guarantee mean? <laughs> what does double satisfaction guarantee What does guarantee? that mean? <laughs> I mean, do you have to be satisfied with both? Are you satisfied with the spinner and the customer service? I mean, what... I would like to know. I should email them. Support at xseed.com. Oh, wait. It has, a, it has a website, huh? It's got an email. xseed.com. That's really interesting that they yeah, added that. But this, if you look at the other videos, and there's 10 of them. At least. Huh? At least. There's 10 plus, there's plus the other. ones we did three weeks ago. Most of the ones from China come in boxes that look identical to this, but they are clearly not being made in the same factory or with the same batch of materials. We suspect that these are like bulk boxes that are being created in China for Chinese made fidget spinners that are brandless because yeah. a lot of them are coming in boxes like that and it's it's not reflective of a brand um, and it's not like they're all dangerous or they're all safe it's really all right. hit or miss how'd this do no lead arsenic cadmium or mercury so in these, either one yeah awesome so we got three that appear to be toxic free and this is a big surprise that this didn't test positive for lead um, they're I, still dangerous don't buy it um, and and this one has arsenic and I, I, I sort of want to do one more test but you can yeah. You can close out the video and tell people our All right. website. Cool. While I hey, test this, huh? well, thank you guys for watching. We, this has been like a marathon of fidget spinner testing. This is, I believe, our 11th live fidget spinner test video. And people were asking us how we were doing it. And that's why we have these live videos. We're going to have a wrap up video that's kind of a summary, as well as a written wrap up on both uh, creativegreenliving.com as well as tamarubin.com to have more information so you guys can see which fidget spinners tested positive for lead and which ones tested negative. The truth is that you can't just look at them and tell. We did a video right before this where we had three different nearly identical fidget spinners and one of them was below the level of concern of 90 parts per million and two of them were really high. They were in the, th the tens of thousands of parts per million lead. So 
Thank you for watching. Please visit our websites. And then if you found these videos helpful, if you think what we're doing, testing fidget spinners and consumer goods to help protect children and their families is valuable, please consider giving to Tamara's GoFundMe. She is at gofundme.com forward slash lead safe mama. There are big bad companies who put lead in their stuff and they want Tamara to stop telling the world about it. So we need to raise money for her legal defense fund. She has uh, one more lawyer that she needs to add to her team in order to you know, protect what she's doing. And uh, we are, we have $6,000 that we need to raise this week for Tamara for that. So if this has been helpful to you, please share our video and check out her GoFundMe at gofundme.com slash Thank you for watching Bye. and um, we'll see you later. Bye.